guys, welcome to Scotty Chiquati's FPV Kitchen. And the reason it's the FPV Kitchen is because I have no other place to open up and do this unboxing, which is a horrible day, really truly a horrible day for uh, shills out there when an actual consumer gets a drone before everybody else does that <laughs> wants to make money from it. I'm just like you guys, I don't make money from anything. I buy all my own stuff and I give my own opinions and recently I've given my own opinion about certain things from a certain company. I'll just get it out of the way and say it was iFlight. I had a problem with how they marketed something recently with the price, the pricing and put my views out there. And so I wanted to see if I'm wrong about this new product because it was basically almost the same price as the IH3, which as you guys know, is anybody who's been in FPV for a long time or a few years, that's just way too expensive for a small drone with an O3 air unit in it. I'm sorry, that's what it is. Anyway, what we have here is an open box of the XL10 V5 this last year, so V6. Now, just a heads up, if anybody's thinking about getting this thing, if you have not been flying drones for a while, uh, or you're relatively new, I don't recommend getting a drone like this. This is a nine inch. And this is one of my favorite macro drones. It's the Macro America nine inch. And it has a 2816, 1050 KV motors on here. And in yesterday's uh, live stream, someone was asking Bardwell, as of this date, what size motors to use for a nine inch and for a 10 inch. Well, this is, I built this exactly to the exact specs that Catalyst Machine Works has suggested. And this bad boy hauls butt. It's freaking great with acro. It's great with just flying around as fast as heck. And if you wanna not attract a crowd, don't get this because <laughs> no matter what people will come out and want to see what the heck this is and when they see it up close they're like oh my gosh be careful don't get around it but anyway i don't re recommend anybody getting these types of drones if you're not experienced flying bigger drones or unless you're phantom fpv because he's the king phantom fpv if you're out there you're the king of this drone i bought this drone after you did and the props that he'd recommend is, is the by blaze instead of these uh Try blaze and he just crushes it doing freestyle with this. Well, anyway, we're gonna do a comparison and see what this is like because this is gonna be a 10 inch and this is a nine inch. So, with that being said, we're gonna start the open box and hopefully, I didn't get a box of rocks because I know I fly probably saw a lot of my uh, reviews and criticism about the IH3. And so, let's see. So, this is my box opening to you guys because I wanna make sure that I'm not getting a box of rocks. <laughs> so, so, let's do this. All right. Let's not cut through the drone though, that'd be funny as heck, right? So you're gonna see this firsthand like I am. And my, my opinion in, of this drone and if it's a buy or not. And one thing for sure, I play sure to know how to pack this sucker and you shouldn't cut towards your stuff like I just did. So dangerous. is that I did try to get a hold of iFlight prior to this to see where my shipment was and they told me that it hadn't arrived yet to their facility so obviously they're not producing these drones somebody else is somebody else is putting it together and maybe when it gets in house they tune it perhaps I don't know but they did not have it in house so they had to wait to receive it now this is the I want to say the not the digital version this is analog and what I do plan on doing before we see it because I do have the Catalyst Machine Works Shocker and it has an O3 air unit in it, but for some reason the way it's mounted, since it's so tight with these mounts, with the brackets, it destroys the quality of the, uh, of the feed because the O3 air unit has gyros within the camera and it totally ruins it when you, even if you put a gyro flow in it or if you just have it without electronic stabilization, it still comes out really jittery and you miss frames, so that's no good. So I'm gonna take the guts out on this, at least the I8, with the air unit and I'm gonna put it in this. So, do we have, can I still open it up upside down again? And just a heads up, I also learned from uh, Joshua Bard's uh, review the other day is that 
people are complaining about the O3 air unit not being warranted under DJI if it comes in a bind and fly, which kind of defeats the purpose, guys, of even buying any, any drone right now that's from China directly, that's already a bind and fly if you're not gonna get the DJI warranty with it and you only get the manufacturer's warranty with it. That's, to me, that's a deal breaker. So already drones are expensive as it is. So you're better off just making your own drone Dropping an O3 air unit, in my opinion, dropping an O3 air unit that you bought from DJI. So if something happens, you get that warranty. So what do we get? Of course we get props, what type of props we get? I should have ordered more of these, but I didn't know what size to get. All right, this is a 10 inch prop. 10 inch prop compared to the nine. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. It's a whole inch bigger. Wow. So definitely not for beginners to use. Definitely, I can already tell you that size of prop, you have to be careful with it, all right? So I need to get more of those. And just so you know, each of these props are probably like $5, so that's a that's a dinner. Every time you break one, that's break two of them, you're breaking lunch and dinner. So just be aware of that. So you got one, two, they only give you four of those. Four props. Please tell me, please tell me. Mmm, okay. It is an XT90 to XT60 converted. So that's fine. You can use XT60s with it and XT90s. Uh, the catalyst machine work that I built is XT90s, which allows more current. And I feel like it just uh, more power when I'm fit, you know, when I give it a juice. So I wish this was an XT90. It isn't, but it's okay. All right. Did not get a box of rocks. What we did get is one beautiful, and I gotta tell you, it's light, light 10 inch drone. Look at this, you know, people see this? It has the 3110 900 KV compared to my 28 16 10 50 KV. So the size of that, my stage is a little bit higher on the Brother Hobby, but definitely wider on the X10. <laughs> this thing is light. And I'm just gonna take out the guts and put the O3 air unit in it, but this thing feels so light, so let's see. In comparison, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this, but let's take the weight of my Catalyst Machine Works build with all the specs coming out, I don't know if we can see this, it's coming out to, I gotta step my TV toes for it, 951 grams with the props on, which is kind of heavy, but it's okay. This feels much lighter. Holy cow. Not only does it feel much lighter, it is much lighter, 728 grams. 728 grams only. This is a very light drone, so when you put on some uh, 8,000 milliamp packs, like they recommend they do sell their own 8,000 milliamp pack 6S. I think it's like $160 on their site, but I'm going to build my own lithium ion packs. I don't know if I have it here. Yes, I do, with a lot of other junk inside. But I'm going to build my own 6S, these are 2170s. So Molly Cell 2170s and they're 45 amp. And I'm going to build, like I said, 6S 4000 milliamps in parallel for 8000 milliamps. So it's gonna be quite, quite the thing. Wow, guys. This is it, it's very light. And, I, and let me see what like, we'll be able to put, oh, and it does come with, Oh, I like that. The way that it's mounted inside, I might not have to even print my own 3D mount because this looks like it has a 3D mount in it already for a camera to fit the one in here, which is, I don't know, this is, this is, uh, this is a race cam or something? I don't, I'm not sure. You guys can tell me. But this one, well, yeah, this one should be able to fit. Yeah, I think that the O3 will fit perfectly in it. And it's gonna have no vibration because it's already gonna have dampening. 
I'm gonna get rid of, oh, does it have two caps in it? It has two caps in it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's also two caps inside. And I will be getting rid of the VTX and the camera. And I'm not gonna have much more weight when I put on the O3 Airy in it. So that's awesome. But look at these motors, let me see. Very smooth motors. Now Catalyst, I'm sorry, iFlight already has this pre-tuned. So what I'm gonna do is work on it probably sometime tomorrow or Friday and get the O3 air unit inside, do a hover test and take it out. I think we just got shut off, hold on. Hey guys, we're back. <laughs> just messing with you. Look at this, this is it put together compared the XL V10 or V6 to my Catalyst Machine Works 9 inch. Substantially heavier, lighter, like 200 grams at least. Props are bigger, motor's bigger. Uh, the KV is 900 KV as opposed to the 30, uh, 28, 16, 1050 KV. Um, this is very stable and can turn on a dime. Not sure about this because it is lighter and the arm span is a little bit wider. And I have seen videos of the V5s and the the older ones where they're kind of a little bit wobbly. So I'm hoping that that is not the case when I get the air, O3 air unit in. If not, then I'm gonna have to basement pit tune this. I'm not gonna be calling it basement pit tune because I'm gonna have to do it out in the field. It's far too big. But man, look at that. Loving these macro quads, guys. Definitely do not recommend it for beginners, but come on guys. I feel like you did good on this one. You did really good, this is awesome. I paid $509 for this shipped to me, no tax. That's a deal, that is incredible. And if this had an O3 air unit in it and you knocked out the VTX and the camera, you probably still only pay $60 more for this than you would the IH3. So I don't know who does the marketing there, uh, iFlight, but this, this is a deal. The other one, not so much, but I can forgive you for that when you got something like this. This is quality. I, I'm really blown away with this so far. And I'm looking forward, I have flight to getting it out in the field and testing it out. Like I said, when you're good, you're good. And I'll give you the props for that because I'm not a shill. Nobody pays me to give my opinion. My opinion, this is worth 500 or even 700. I would pay for this. Not so much in the uh, little, you know, that little thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, guys, what do you think? What do you think? Man, I can't get over how, just how lovely it looks. You know what? Guys, I, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. This one, definite, definite drone of the decade. <laughs> just messing with you. It's drone of the decade in the next week. Give me something free and then that one will be drone of the decade in this class or whatever. But anyway, all kidding aside, I'm not gonna say spend your money on it. I wanna do more testing. I wanna give it a fair shake, but I do think that with the components alone that this is a good buy. $509 for this is a great buy. And what I plan on doing, I want to make sure that it flies well, that there's no wobbles when I'm flying. If there's wobbles, I'm going to try to take it out with my own tuning and get it to freestyle the way that I want it to do and long range with my homemade pack of uh, 8,000 milliamp 6S with my on. And hopefully the knock on wood, let's not say hopefully, we're gonna assume that there'll be no wobbles in it and I don't have to do any more adjustments because if I do, and my tune doesn't work, then the next phase is I'm going to do what uh, Premier FPV is going to do, which is transfer all these components to the uh, the Reckon X10. Hope that I don't have to do that. I could get that frame, but this looks pretty solid. The only thing that I would ask maybe is if I flight, if you can, come up with some braces, maybe. Put some braces on the side to make it more a little bit more strong, a little bit less, uh, take out the chances of, a, of any wobbles. But so far, I'm impressed. Thank you, iFlight. Thank you, this is, and thank you for shipping it. This is beautiful. And I fly macros, guys, so I'm looking forward to testing this one out. All right, don't recommend this if this is your first drone and you're coming out from like a DJI Vada or something like that, don't get this, because <laughs> you're gonna break it. I'm gonna break this because of the way I fly. And I love repairing and fixing and transferring parts. So 
And if you're not a, a crazy fool like that, then save your money, get something a little less, uh, less dangerous because this is all about, all about can be dangerous, guys. So anyway, guys, let's uh, put the OT air unit on it, get it out in the air this week or next week. But that's what I got for you guys right now. Let's take a little look at that again. Oh yeah. Yeah, I cannot believe that I got this before the reviewers, but this is a great buy for only $509 as of this video. Shipped from China. <laughs> All right guys, enjoy your week. That's what I got for now. Sky Tiquati, sign out.